So the good news is I just made it down off the roof of the carport. Uh, finished up putting a row of screws down the steel up there. The bad news is I have to go back up there three more times to finish off putting uh, each of the runs of screws that hold down the sheeting on top. Uh, the reason why I wasn't able to do it all when I was uh, putting the lift or using the lift to put the sheets up there was I couldn't reach over far enough to get I was only put, able to put two screws per sheet when they need four. So um, got to go back up there. I'm not a huge fan of the height. Um, the other thing, uh, I was going to do this yesterday, but what I found was the building had quite a bit of like wobble front to back. Um, the whole frame, like I could push on the frame and well, actually the first time I went up there, uh, I got up on the roof and I could just feel the whole thing moving. So I don't know if if that's kind of how these carports are. I'm not sure. But uh, when I was pushing on the frame, it was just it just felt like there was just too much play. Like I could push the whole building front to back. There was just a lot of wobble. So what I ended up doing, I ended up taking, I had some old steel and putting a strip down one side here and that really made things way more rigid like now everything is solid over here um, the spacing or these sheets of steel are 12 feet long and the spacing between each of these posts is six feet so i was able to span with one sheet that distance then i put another sheet down on that corner to the center and then i put one sheet from there Combine or covering the whole span. So three sheets, a uh, little bit of an overlap on that one. Got the whole side, and that really made things, like I said, really kind of stiffened it up and made it more rigid. The trouble now is there seems to be a little wobble uh, side to side. So, so now everything kind of moves this way, like back and forth when I'm up there and i don't know if like i said i don't know if that's just kind of the way these things are made uh there is no real i guess support tying it in you know together at the bottom here to to stiffen it up i could see if there was like you know like a, a brace from the corner up here over to there like that would really make it solid um i did end up putting an ibc tote just down on this corner just to kind of act um I was driving around here with the tractor and I just wanted like something as kind of like a bumper and then also <laughs> this kind of just like anchored down the frame and kept that side from wobbling when I'm up on the roof. And this is where I think I discovered where things got off with the sheeting. So the spacing between these is six feet. So this 12 foot piece of steel runs from the corner to that post there. And for whatever reason, on this end, from the, that corner to that post right there, which should be 12 feet, is 12 feet, one and a half inches. And then from the second post in to that post is 12 feet, one inch. So somehow my spacing got off on these, this corner over here. And I don't know if maybe the, it's not level on the ground, like this is a little high, I'm not sure. But I think that's where things got out of square and why my sheeting up on the top was not all square. So now I gotta figure out something to do on this end to kind of try to tie this together. I could just use six, you know, cut those 12 foot sheets down to six and then just put three of them up there, which is what I might do, we'll see. So putting the whole frame and everything together, yes, that was easy to do, following the instructions, easy to do, um, just a lot of time putting in all the screws. So that was a little bit of a challenge, but now, like I said, I don't know if this is supposed to have as much what I call wobble, like side to side. Like when I'm up on top 
Like I can just feel everything kind of moving and I'm not sure if there's a way to correct that. I'm thinking um, eventually maybe I'll have to like close in that back wall or at least do something across the whole back of it to kind of tie it all together better. I'm not sure. Um, I do have, people are wondering about the anchors. There are anchors, uh, 30 inch rebar anchors into the ground, uh, six on each side. Would I do this again? I would definitely buy a VersaTube carport again. I'm just not sure if I would do the assembling and putting it up. I think I might uh, pay someone to do that. And it's just one of those things, you know, it always sounds great. DIY, do it yourself, save some money which I did save quite a bit of money compared to what I was gonna do originally. But now, I mean, the little things that are off are just cosmetic. So it's nothing major. I don't think there's any, you know, I don't think it's compromised structurally other than, like I said, that wobble, which I don't know. It just seems, <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. I hope it will be fine, but uh, yeah, so the big challenges with putting one of these together for me was just the time that it took. Um, and it does, you know, it, it, if you have an extra set of hands, if you have a lift like that, that made it made all the difference. Um, the other thing I would maybe do different is I don't know if I would go 12 feet high. Uh, I thought it would be nice to have that extra space if I ever did have a conveyor. Uh, from you know splitting firewood um, and maybe it will help with the sound like when I'm running machines inside there maybe having the the taller higher height of the the roof will make it so it's not as loud we'll have to see how that goes but that would be one thing I might change is I might go to a 10 foot instead of a 12 foot but it's here it's up uh, just a few minor things to finish up, but like I said, I think it's all, this is gonna be the wrap on the VersaTube. So yes, I am happy with it. I'm glad that I went this way just because uh, I learned from it, got some experience, got some knowledge. So yes, I would definitely recommend looking into a VersaTube carport. I would also highly recommend making sure everything is level, square, uh, all that stuff because one little, like I said, a year off, a quarter inch, half inch on being square. And I think that's where I ended up making my mistake because I wasn't exactly square or something was off. But it's up now. So like I said, it's uh, we're going to get into production mode here shortly. As soon as I get back up there tomorrow, finish put in the rest of those screws in, put the ridge cap on, and then we'll be done with it. So hopefully in the next day or two, we will be back and we will be setting up and figuring out the best layout for splitting and producing, processing firewood inside the new, uh, the first tube carport here. I'm glad I went through it. I'm glad I got this. Now it's just time to move on and get back into making some firewood.